So Sutcliffe has the ball for the first ball of the innings. And it's a little bit of a waste from their shortage delivery that is watchfully left alone by Patterson. Oh, it's a magnificent cover drive, and that's the first boundary of the morning. Just a little bit fuller, a little bit of width given there by Sutcliffe, and Patterson obliged as he crunches that. Driving nicely out through the covers, and that will be another boundary for Bridget Patterson. Oh, that's a magnificent shot. She's on fire. Bridget Patterson for the Scorpions. Three boundaries for her on that. This ball takes an edge. Genuine edge through first slip for four. Back and chopping nicely back with a point. Ease it through the gap as it races along the carpet here at Monica. Oh, this is ball has been skied down to fine leg. Getting underneath it and taking a wonderful catch on the boundary. I think that might have been Olivia Porter. Oh, clipped beautifully off leg stump. It was full and just lent on it to pick up a boundary. Now Debro driving out through the covers. Again, well timed. This one I think is going to win the race as well. She judged it beautifully. As the last ball is flashed away through the offside just in front of point. So Courtney Webb's on strike now to Sutcliffe, and it's short and driven off the front foot, on the rise, through the covers, four runs. Looks in good, ominous touch here. And Lisa, that's a short ball. Fine leg's a lot squarer on this occasion, and they won't be able to prevent that going down to the boundary for four. Yeah, any, any day that I had to pull the vest out, yeah. <laughs> it was a bit rough, I always thought. The short and pulled away beautifully back with a square leg. One bounce over the rope for four and all that pressure. Oh, and Clipton beautifully off the hip down to the mid-wicket rope for four. Seen some classy shots today and that's probably up at the top three or top five. Chloe Rafferty down here at Long Island. Short and cut away. Right out of the middle. It was a thick outside edge as it dribbles its way down towards the rope. A gallant oh. dive is unfortunately in vain for the Meteors points for both those sides cutting away oh, nicely uh, through gully and it's going to have enough on it to reach the rope 100 back yeah. to 72 now and on the full this time and smashed away wide of mid on down to the boundary rope for four and it's Courtney Webb and generates a lot of power and that shot in front of point the deep cover comes around can't stop it beautifully timed Yates, it goes a shout for LBW, and the breakthrough has happened. DeBro's gone. And maybe pick up four or five singles and over with the field out. Wickman's first ball, cut away nicely. Now back with a point, it's a long chase out there, and they won't be able to be reeled in. She's back and cutting away, and she gets it through the gap. That's where you can't bowl when you have that field, and they cash in easily. So Emma DeBro... That beautifully before Dean Smith for 41. Now driving beautifully. It beats everyone. It's a magnificent straight drive. That one's right out of the tech books. Good sporting team names down around the, oh. in the river region, region up, up through the river owner as well. There's another punch shot behind point for four shot. runs here by Courtney <laughs> Webb. Beautiful shot. And that does bring up 50 to Courtney Webb. Look at... 300, and that'll be wide and swept away. Fair. Picked up magnificently by Matty Penner. Second bounce over the rope. Suck clear fire. Good shot. Driven hard. Behind point. Should go for four. Does. Sutcliffe pressure on now. Bowls full. Driven. That'll shot. be four more. Magnificent shot. Wide of the short cover. As Rafferty bowls again, pulled away, heaved away into the deep. It might go the journey. It does over the rope. We're back, hit on the pad, and she's got her LBW. She rocks back her head in disgust. And the ACT Meteors have their third wicket. One for 23 or four overs. She's full in this ball, stroked away. Uh, through that gully region, there was a hand on it. It's going to creep its way to the boundary yeah. and just get there. It teased the fielders. Kelly <laughs> Leeson back into the attack. It's a full ball, and it's a thick edge that squeezes its way down to fine leg for four. He's forward and lofting this one down the ground. Didn't get it, 
uh, all, but she'll still get a boundary for it. So, of this Scorpions innings. It's forward and driving, and she pierces the gap beautifully. That's a wonderful shot for four up. Ground fielding's been nice. That one's wide down the leg side, and that will be swept away for four runs. So just couldn't quite tidy out the over there. Olivia Porter will resume from the Cathedral end. Lofted in the air, down the ground. Dixon didn't quite read it. And really target 300. O'Neill, oh, it's a lovely shot between mid-wicket and mid-on. Down to the boundary rope, second bounce. Last ball the over here. Something tends to happen last ball the over. And it almost does. It just goes over the head of Gabby Sutcliffe at point. There's been, there's been lots of 280s. A couple of 300 scores made this year. Advancing and lofting gloriously. A couple of bounces over the rope for four. Better than had been the case at the other end. Oh, reverse sweep. It's pulled out and it's going to, it's going to be four. Uh, benefit South Australia. It goes all the way down to the rope for four. She's going to continue from the pull end of the ground. Backing away and getting a thick outside edge. Uh, bad luck for Dixon and the ACT. Plenty of uh, luck on the side there of O'Neill. He wasn't able to oblige. This ball smacked down the ground. That's going to go all the way for six. And what a way to bring up your 50. Off just 43 balls, her first ever. On strike now and heaves it away. High over the rope for six. Well over the rope. On gaps. Now she gets a full ball, hammered, high, long, way over the rope. Second six for the over. In play. Dixon bowls, and it's cut away, and there's no one down there. It's a ring field on the offside, and it'll race down to the boundary yeah. rope for four. The run given to O'Neill. Might have just got the glove. Sutcliffe bowls, driven That's through four. the gap. Down to deep third. That'll be a four. They made the field change a couple of balls ago. And Leeson bowls now to Penner. Gets a full toss and <laughs> hammers it into the dugout almost. Leeson bowls to Penner. Penner goes whack. It's another six. Penner. He's it for four runs. Comfortable. Behind square leg. Moves along to 96. Doing everything to get the other end. Here's Leeson Bowles, and it's clipped down to deep square. Fine, they should come back for two, <laughs> and they will. So two runs to Annie O'Neill. Oh. She'll finish 74, not out on strike. Peterson in, and on leg stump, and works the ball nicely in front of square leg for a single. Robbie, and gee, she hit the ball very nicely. In the swagger as you go back out on the field. Harris, Bowles. Carter clips it away beautifully through mid-wicket. Bit of a signature shot there from Beck Carter. And that's the Meteor's first boundary. So did Peterson. Oh, now that one's on leg stump. That's driven away down the onside. It might get to the boundary. It's going to be a tight call here. It does get to the rope. So uh, come back to that. Mac. Oh, good four runs here. Between keeper and the slip cordon, Katie Mack. Stays fairly wide. Harris bowls. Mack cuts, and there'll be another four. It's a good cricket from Katie Mack. Carter gets a full ball on leg stump and whips it away magnificently through the onside. It'll be tight call, and it gets to the rope. Certainly these two will have to score a few. Flying away through the court, and, and they pick up a boundary of the Meteors. Just in charges Peterson for the last ball of the over. The full ball, she slashes over the top, and she'll get a boundary. Ford and driving beautifully. That's going to be four more. A couple of really classy shots here. It's Barsby. Tosses up. Driven through shot. the covers Great magnificently shot. for four runs. Uh, we have a change in the bowling, and it's uh, Ma Shangwei who's come into the attack. And first ball is played very delicately by Katie yeah. Mack. Now ball's hammered down the ground, and that'll be the first wicket. We talked about impatience, and that was embodied there in that shot. Around that professional environment would have been helpful for her. She's back here and chopping nice. That's a clever shot. Really smart cricket. And as it rolls down, and she'll pick up a boundary. Field. 
And she might get four more here. I think she will. Back-to-back -back boundaries. Again, just a little bit too much width. When you flight with this one. Oh, what a caught and bowl that is. That is right out of the top draw. Here's Peterson. Oh, lovely drive. Through the gap. Behind point. There's a photo finish. Peterson in and Mac eases that one out into the deep. She's going to come back for a second, take one on the arm. Leeson's in all sorts of trouble, and she's out. Full toss. One's been hammered out into the deep. One bounce over the rope for four. That's the pressure reliever. Yeah. That's what they needed. The score from here, or thereabouts, so... Cut away! Out! Gee, that's a good catch! Katie Mack falls to an outstanding catch there. Four. Cook drives off the outside edge. It beats Mashangway down there and it'll trickle over the rope for four runs to Zoe Cook. Now bets again, and that's, that's what Cook shot. does well. Second bet, first bounce over the rope at mid off. I'll get back to that during this over as Penner resumed. Oh, that's a no ball, full toss. That'll go all the way down to the boundary. Sin stuff, so and gets a free hit now. Penner bowls, switch hit, four runs. Oh, ten runs off this over. That might be another wide. That's heaved away on the onside for four runs by Zoe Cook. Barsby. That one's a little bit quicker. Bold. Ed just held up a little bit. Cook was committed to the shot. It was a nice bit of bowling. Against Barsby. Pulls out the reverse sweep and pulls it out beautifully. And that'll be four to the total. That eases the pressure. <laughs> Lasby in, and a return catch, her second court and bold, and her third wicket of the day. She's here and slashing away. It's a thick outside edge, and she'll benefit with another boundary. Deep mid wicket and a deep square leg. Back and cutting, appeal for court behind, and she has it. She has her first wicket for South Australia, and she's up and about. Is the Weshu Mashangwe. The Meteors can take plenty out of this and really attack them come Tuesday when they play the second of their two games. Full ball, straight back to the bowler, and Katie Peterson, with a lot of delight, takes her first wicket. Here comes Peterson. Full ball, and she's bowled her first ball. Two and two here for Kate Peterson. And uh, Harris in this ball, slapped over the top. Good shot, and they'll pick up a boundary. No one out, square on the offside. Cut away, that's going to be four more. Really good cricket, again, waited for the ball. Full ball that she's skied in the air, coming around and getting underneath it and taking the catch. Peterson ends the innings with a flurry of three wickets and it's a big win for the South Australian Scorpions that remain 